what's happening guys we are back with our video and this is another topic on narcissism so let's get to this um the video of the day is going to be what makes somebody become a narcissist it's a great topic and it's the typical childhood trauma and neglect this is where it all starts this is what forms people should I say, into staying a narcissist, staying that undeveloped child that they could not seem to grow out of because psychologists say that narcissism, it, it all starts at around the age of eight. And before the age of eight, everybody is a narcissist. And the reason why this is, is because you are so young and you do not have your wits about yourself yet. You do not have, you're not forming a true identity yet, and you're either going to start to develop that and grow from that at the age of eight and continue on, or you're not. And people around the age of like 20 and so on and so forth, and above this, who have not done this, who have not grown their true identity, who did not, they're not comfortable in their own skin, they are not smart individuals. They just, they're very stupid in certain senses, but they're very manipulative and they're very cunning and evil in other senses, which can make them come off as smart, but honestly, they are very stupid individuals emotionally. They can say words that are smart, they can be book smart, they can be smart in school, get the best grades. I know, I know um, nurses out there today that got 90s in academics, like in high school and stuff like this, and graduated with the best, the best of the best, the top grades, and they are full-blown nurses. So I, I'm personally somebody that never did do good in school because I had no interest in school. School was never my plan in life it my plan was never to get a college degree or get a trade or something along those lines i just i seen other things for me that did not involve college university or anything like this and that's just how it was that's why i didn't really take school too seriously because i knew the things i was going to try and the things i was going to go for after school and that's exactly what i done and I'm still not done trying to this day. Like, I don't know if I ever will be. There's always going to be something else. You're always going to get a new idea. Something else is going to pop up and you're going to want to try something or capitalize on something. There's endless possibilities out there. And I know the talents and the traits I have as a person. So that's, that's what I roll with. It's... You have to keep an open mind in life because there, like I said, there are infinite possibilities and you can go down many different roads, many different paths to become whatever you want to become, to try whatever you want to try. And I live with an open mind. I'm prepared for the worst and the best. I'm prepared for everything. I'm prepared for the worst of the worst. And when it's all said and done, we're gonna get both good and bad in this life. We gotta take the good with the we gotta take the bad with the good. Cause both are gonna happen and as we speak right now we're gonna get both and more. It's just the way it is. Life is painful. If you watch deep documentaries, if you watch deep stuff where people are talking, they they, they life is merely based off of pain. Like it is. That's why you want to live as happy as you can, like, live the happiest life you can live, but life is painful. The minute we were born, we were already dead. It's just the truth. But anyways, before I get too off topic, we'll get back to this for a second. Um, so, around eight-year-olds, some of these people might receive childhood abuse, childhood trauma. Um, they might feel neglected, not heard. And it can be very hurtful for a young, such a young human being to go through something like this. I'm glad I never had to go through that. I felt very heard, very loved around this age, and I had a lot of people around me, a lot of people. 
and I had a lot of friends. I was an easy guy to make friends with. Um, the, the most neglected I personally ever felt was probably when I got older, which it did not affect me nearly as much as it would if this shit happened to me at a younger age, because then you might not be able to develop into the person you're supposed to be because these things happen. Uh, once you get older, you get much tougher, much thicker skin, and you already know who you are, and nobody can really take that from you if you already know who you are, if you know what I'm saying. And I mean, people can try, and people try to come into my life to take me away from myself, and sometimes it worked for a very short period of time. But then, you understand the situation for what it is, you understand this person for what they are, and you realize you almost just got conned out of your own life. You just almost got fooled by this evil ass person that seems to be a psychopath or a narcissist, and they literally tried to just destroy your life. How does that make you feel? You know what I mean? Like, these things try to, like, these things happen to me, guys. And you guys already know this. Whoever watches my videos all the time, you guys already know this. And it's crazy, but like I said, you're already formed as a person. You already grew up. You're an adult now. You're all, you're you're basically in the clear. But it's still possible to become a narcissist if you get down into the deepest, darkest black hole you can get yourself into, and that would be by making very piss poor decisions with your own life, which would be your fault. And I'm in no way, shape, or form only blaming narcissists that came into my life because it's just as much as my fault as it is with anybody else. It's more my fault than anything for lowering my standards for somebody that tried to destroy me. And that's exactly what I did. I lowered my standards. Point blank period. And I paid a heavy ass price for doing so. You would never think that somebody like this is going to take advantage of you and lie to you and use you because you see something good for this person because you were with them. That's that's how you see certain things and you would never think this could happen and it happens. That's why you should never lower your standards. You should know your worth. You should let things come to you naturally and you know what? Something might come to you naturally. That is not a good thing. You have to be the one that is aware of that. And that's the person I am now. I'm so aware of everything. And I don't let nothing affect me, phase me, shake me. It's just not going to happen. And there could be something that happens that might affect you the slightest bit, but I'm not going to let it consume me, and it's not going to continue to affect me day after day after day. I'm so far past that. And a lot of these videos will help you guys in your healing and help you guys much faster in your own day-to-day -day lives if you ever went through something like this or are experiencing it right now. And once again, I'm just going to take another back step to this video and to get into it further, but so narcissists at the age of eight, they got neglected by their parents. They could have went through some childhood trauma. They feel unwanted maybe by their own fathers or something like this and they just feel that dark emptiness they feel that dark black hole and they just don't have the strength to develop themselves as a person because they constantly live with that void they constantly live wondering and they don't have nobody there for them they just they're very isolated they feel lost and hopeless and they have nobody there like i even had at a young age i even had Lots of first cousins and stuff like this right across the road and tons of friends that was always at my house. I was at their house. We were always doing things, having a good time. I was always allowed to have friends over whenever I wanted them over. It just... I had a childhood every kid would dream of having. I'm not even going to lie about that. Like, things were really good in my childhood. Nothing to complain about. But things did get harder, like I said, once I got older, and that's like the opposite of how somebody forms into a narcissist. If that's, if this was flipped the other way around, it could be a lot worse. And I feel narcissists that have such horrific childhoods, which they don't get to grow and develop from the age of eight, 
and upward and onward, things might start turning good for these people whenever they start to become an adult and they might mess things up because of this. They might not, they might not know how to treat a certain situation and this could be make or break times for these individuals. They could really strike gold with somebody or certain opportunities that could happen and it's up to them to realize this but a lot of them don't a lot of them don't and they end up messing up and it could continue to affect them for the rest of their lives because they messed up in times where they should not have messed up in and it all goes back to their childhood trauma and the neglect so basically what forms a narcissist is this and I'm not saying every single person that's ever had a hard upbringing or childhood turns into a narcissist. It doesn't happen 100% of the time, but most of the time it does. And I think also awareness is everything. Awareness is everything. I think somebody could have went through complete hell growing up. If they're aware of what happened, that could help them so much like in, in moving past that and growing as a person. But if they're not aware of what happened and they think this is just how life is and they just have this negative outlook on a lot of things and they're these type of individuals that just start to use things for their own gain and benefit. It just, that's where it's gonna throw these individuals off because they're not aware. When something good happens, they're not aware they're not aware of this good thing. They just see it just like anything else because they are blinded to that good thing because they've never seen good things like this before, if that makes any sense. And they could sabotage something that was really good. And it's a damn shame. But it happens. And I've seen it happen, and I've been through this myself. Not me sabotaging something good the other way around. Somebody sabotaging that could have been so good with me and they just didn't see it and it's a goddamn shame isn't it but it is what it is these people are not trustworthy and it's all because of how unaware they really are they could be worthy in so many different ways which I've had people in my life that were that were very worthy in a lot of different ways but they're just they lack awareness and that's a scary thing you just I don't trust people like that. You have to be aware. You have to be able to be a real person. You have to be able to be open and honest and vulnerable. But a lot of that scares these individuals and they just cower away from it. And like I said, you just can't trust people like this. And when someone doesn't, when somebody does not develop at the age of eight and continue to develop, they're only going to get worse as time goes on. They're only going to become more exposed as time goes on. That's the thing with these people. They only get more exposed the older they get because their true colors start to show a lot more. And who they are as a person is not showing who they are on the inside. It's just they're not matching up, if that makes sense. But I explained enough in this video. Um, I'm going to cut this one short once again, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Like I said, if you guys have any more requests or anything like this regarding topics like this or maybe something else, feel free to share it. I might get to it. Don't forget to like this video, guys. Um, it's important to like these videos. Comment if you must. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Until next time, peace.